Thank you. Uh, questions from our judges? <laughs> <laughs> I have more slides. <laughs> So you would, um, according to this, you would probably predict that the Jetsons hypothesis was not correct. <laughs> Sorry, could you, could, for the benefit of the audience, could you remind us <laughs> the Jetsons hypothesis? Uh, the Jetsons were just a very slim outer space family, oh, well. and it was a hopeful idea. It was a, a, a nice hopeful thought. future. Yeah. A utopia, really. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> So you're saying no? It, it seems entirely implausible. <laughs> does, um, does this hypothesis have implications for the potentially infinite uh, space you can explore in virtual worlds? That's a very interesting question. So this gets actually to a, a really critical question, which I think is actually the most interesting direction that this work then opens up, uh, which is the question of how is this information about the, uh, the landmass size uh, obtained by the individuals? Uh, it's generally not going to be by direct inspection, right? There are very few <laughs> cases where an individual is going to have a range on the scale of its, uh, its landmass or its body of water, you know, in, in rare cases. Um, so somehow it must be getting that information some other way, presumably through interactions with other uh, organisms, uh, either uh, its own species or even other species. There's plenty of examples of interspecific communication in nature. Uh, so now that we have you know, discovered this principle, uh, it opens up this critical question of how is the, that information obtained? Uh, and can things, as you say, like uh, exploration of, vertical, uh, of virtual worlds, uh, will that carry the cue of being in a larger space? Like, will that have this effect uh, on its own? And I think you will, I don't have the data on this, but I uh, conjecture there will be a correlation between people who spend a lot of time in virtual worlds, even today, and <laughs> larger body sizes. All right, thank you, Dr. Justin Murphal.